When we treat patients with certain types of tumors, let's say it's a lung cancer or an esophageal cancer or a rectal cancer, there's critical structures, meaning healthy tissues that we want to try to avoid. And we have very specific technology that allows us to block or help those healthy tissues not receive substantial amounts of radiation therapy, but still give the dose that we need to to adequately kill the cancer. The first step is to do a CT simulation. So this is a typical CAT scanner, but it has some unique tools with it. We're able to place this patient in a position that they're going to be comfortable, but that they can be reproduced in that same position each and every day when we treat them. The whole goal here is to hit the target every day and avoid healthy tissues. So then, after that information is transferred into our planning computer, we're then able to look at how it moves during the patient's breathing cycle. So their diaphragm is moving up and down, this is the lung, and these are healthy tissues, such as the heart. So we can see actually where the tumor moves during breathing, and we want to capture that because we want that always in our field of radiation therapy. And then we can sit there and look at this area where it's at, and we can plan a very precise treatment beam of radiation that gives a high intensity focus of radiation therapy to the area where the tumor is at and where it's moving, but it's very, very tight around this area so that we avoid giving radiation to these healthy tissues. Our radiation oncology team is highly experienced, so these folks have been around treating patients for a long time and have very specific skill set in order to treat those patients with the best radiation therapy available. Our goal when we treat our patients is to provide world-class care that is certainly comparable with anything that's available in our country.